No, before the start of this video, I made a PS2 uh, remix, and um, it's not that great. The link might be in the description. If there isn't, um, I don't know how to put it in the description. Or, no, 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 I don't actually know how to, like, send you the download link. But anyways, on to the intro. <laughs> So guys, you may be wondering, why am I in this random cage in the middle of nowhere? Well you see, I made a puzzle for myself, uh, or uh, anyone that wants to download it. Um, if I can, I'll put the download link in the description, if not, uh, I'll do it in a future video, and I'll let you know if I can do it. So yeah, anyways, so when we walk into this room, we will see a bunch of stuff here. This is supposed to be a puzzle. You're supposed to be able to figure this out. But this is meant to be a walkthrough. So if you want to download this and you want to do it by yourself and when you want to figure it out by yourself, do not watch this. This will spoil it. So then, but the only part that you don't need to figure out is actually the um, the next part, which is the parkour part. That just requires no puzzle. It just requires a bit of skill. And then the next part requires a tiny little bit of thinking. Just a tiny little bit of thinking. And then, and then that's pretty much it. So this is basically just a walkthrough. First of all, in this walkthrough, we are going to grab ourselves one, two, three pieces of wood, and then we're going to put them in our crafting table. And obviously, crafters, no, I mean for inventory, and obviously craft ourselves a crafting table. So now we're gonna place it down here. You can place it anywhere. I just like to place it down like symmetrical to all these other ones. Then we're gonna craft a um, wooden pickaxe. And you'll also need six sticks to be able to craft all the pickaxes. So yeah, next of all, obviously you're gonna cra craft a stone pickaxe. So we're gonna get that now. And then we're gonna go craft our, our stone pickaxe. Now you are ready to get yourselves an iron pickaxe, but obviously with iron, you have to smelt it. So that's why we're gonna grab ourselves eight of these nifty little blocks here. So then we're gonna go back over here and three two one we have crafted ourselves a furnace and boop and there we are so now we're second of all we are going to grab ourselves one piece of coal because you'll only basically need one piece and then yeah we're going to grab ourselves three pieces of iron now to save you the grueling time of waiting for this furnace to actually smelt the iron i am going to time lapse this in three Two, one, go. There we go, time lapse done. So now we're going to craft ourselves an iron pickaxe. Now obviously we need a diamond one. A diamond pickaxe. So basically a lot of people have actually seen these types of puzzles before. You need to get a certain block and do a certain thing with that block. Now, after we craft ourselves a diamond pickaxe, um, here's where the part starts to get puzzling. So, well, actually, it doesn't really that puzzling. It just needs a bit of thought. What do we do next? Now, a lot of you may be stuck on this, but then a lot of you, like like most of you, will notice that subsidian block and those hoppers, and you'll be like, hmm. And yeah, that's probably what you're thinking. So, first of all, we grab ourselves one singular piece of obsidian to save time and I accidentally went off the obsidian so that means I need to mine it again. Now we've got ourselves one piece of obsidian and obviously you were going to think we need to throw it in here and you'd be right, on to the next level. You're creating parkour and obviously this will clear your inventory to make sure you don't have any stuff that you can use to mine it. So yeah, now, oh. And this will TP you back to the start, it won't kill you because for some reason spawn points do not work very well in this world. I don't know why, but you know, um, they just don't. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now, this is where it gets a bit, tiny bit more difficult. You need to do a Neo Jump, which I am not very good at them. Well, I'm kind of good at them, but like, they're, they're quite, they're so You know what? It's time for a time lapse. Yeah, it's time for a parkour time lapse. Let's go. <laughs>
we got? All right. Who? Oh, no. All right. So, um, I ca I don't think I can actually like do this fully. I mean, I can, but it's very very hard. But for the sake of me having to edit an entire time lapse of this, I'm going to skip this. <sighs> even skipping it doesn't even work. Right. Okay. So, um. All right, so now it's a bit brighter. Now this will say do slash spawn point add s. So you just do spawn point add s. And I'm just gonna leave it down for good measure because the spawn points are a little bit glitchy in this world. And you may be wondering, what do you do with this water bugger? A lot of smart players will know that you'll climb up here and that's exactly what you're supposed to do with this. So, um, yeah. And I'm in creative mode. So spawn, spawn point add s. That's not add s. Now, now we're going to climb up here, so um, the quickest way to do it is to just place it as high as you can and you'll get up a little bit quicker. I mean, you could do it the really fast way, and I want to do it the really fast way the rest of the way up. Which is this way, but you know, I prefer to do it the long way because, you know, um, it's a bit better. And it's tall and you slide a bit faster. Now then you just do a water emoji down here. And then you just do, congrats, you flick this lever. And then you'll get a book. Now, if you have seen my um, my video on the most illegal thing I own, this is actually the world I did it on. So you can just go into Create More once you get to the end. I mean, you can, and there's cheats enabled in this world, so you can do it any time you want. So yeah. Um, if you want to do it legitimately, please don't cheat. I know that a lot of people are going to do it because, you know, like, you know. Now I'm going to show you what I did in that the most illegal thing I owned video. So yeah, anyways, here's how this works. So once you like click something on this book, it will place a redstone block on one of these. But, oh yeah, it's a bit glitch sometimes because when you move, you can't do it. And this is the command you use to kill it. So you just do kill add e slash kill add e and um, square bracket um not a uh, type equals not player aka um, explanation mark player comma distance equals dot dot two and then another square bracket and then it'll kill everything within like a two block distance of you so yeah now if we go a bit closer you can kind of see it being set there look if we go oak planks look you can kind of see it being like set somewhere so if we go like down a block yeah so it's going to be set here so like when you do this book when you click it the command will set the block at one of these four coordinates depending on which one you pick but this one it'll do this now this looks like this is a really long command uh i'll paste the command in the description if you want to do this for yourself so basically what you do is you copy and paste all these commands and you also um set the block to or whatever distance you're going air so yeah and then you just put like this redstone orientation here because with the, with the glass panes when you don't really want like a hitbox because let's say if we actually do do a hitbox uh like if i just put a piece of redstone here and then just remove this and we do do a glass pane this is what it would look like actually no that's not what it would look like so let me just do that this is this is what it will look like glass panes that's now it will have a hitbox but it, the hitbox would be very wonky you'll be able to see the so sugar so that's why i usually skip this so that's why i usually don't do glass paint and hitboxes so you can mess around with this you can put in whatever you want to be honest and here's how you do it if you just want to put in whatever you want you just go into the command to the end and you change this to any block type just say if you want to do i don't know like an end portal frame you do end underscore portal underscore frame or whatever it is in the set block command so say if you do like set block end portal frame you just copy and paste it and then put it in there except remove the minecraft colon bit and then that's what it will do it'll summon a falling block with that state and yeah Anyways, I'd like to thank you for watching today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is mainly just an experiment video for, like, you know, stuff. And also a secret Easter egg at the end because this is the world I used to shore on. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Anyways, bye. <laughs>